Burger Bullets were built based on a very specific foundational idea, and that is to minimize dispersion. Uh, you know, in Benchrest, you're trying to get the tightest group possible, and that's where Walt grew up in his shooting career. And so to reach that objective, we make the shell, the copper jacket, as uniform as we possibly can, and our tolerance is three ten thousandths. And to help people understand how small a variation that is, if you took the hair off your head and you sliced it into three equal sized pieces, took one of those pieces, sliced it into ten equal sized pieces, we are only allowed to vary our thickness three of those pieces that are left. And so it's a very small amount of variation. And the reason for that is because as that bullet is spinning at 250,000 RPM, roughly, uh, if the lead is very dense, if it's positioned so that it's uniform and it's po properly distributed, then you're not, uh, it's not flying to the target like an out-of-balance tire. And so you don't get that dispersion. And so to marry that with federal premium ammunition really brings two high-quality products together to get the best result. I agree. The, the focus that we have on dispersion here sounds very similar to what Berger has. We use the best components that we can manufacture. At Federal Premium, we keep a tight tolerance on our brass case. We make sure that we're focused on concentricity on the neck and shoulder. The hardness profile of the case is very consistent on a, on a continual basis. And as we bring all these components together, you start to think about the primers that we use. They are held to a very tight specification as well. Gold metal primers are used in all gold metal ammunition at Federal Premium. We also are sure to select the very best propellants, not only at ambient conditions, but at hot and cold. You aren't going to see as much variation as you may with some other propellants. So we are selecting propellants very carefully to get tight standard deviations on velocities, not only at ambient conditions, but over a wide range of temperatures. When we're loading the ammunition, we're checking the accuracy and dispersion on a continual basis to make sure that we hold the tightest specifications within our plant. Um, there's, there's incredible focus on that. If it ever starts to drift, people are focused on it, getting it back into where we need it to be and making sure that the product we're producing is the best we can make it. Well, and, and I'll share with you, that reputation is very well known because as a reloader, uh, the vast majority of ammo I shoot is reloaded, but we know as reloaders, it's a commonly understood thing that if you're having trouble with your reloads and you're not getting your gun to work, one of the things to do is to go get some gold medal ammo, some federal premium gold medal ammo, try it in the rifle, if it doesn't shoot that, the rifle's broken, and you're, you're, you're chasing the wrong problem. And so gold medal match is, is one of those ammos that is just dependable in, in the entire shooting community. People just know that that's really the go-to ammo if you want to make sure you're doing, shooting the right stuff. Very good.